The Senate Bill S-510 is completely flawed. My name is Liz Reitzig and I'm the Secretary of the National Independent Consumers and Farmers Association. What Senate Bill S-510 does is it creates statutory authority for the FDA to come up with regulations governing all aspects of food production and processing. So whether or not it will affect a home garden or a farmer's market, we probably won't see anything immediately affecting those, but once they come up with the regulations and start enforcing them, we could easily see a disruption in anything, anything from a farmer's market to a child's lemonade stand, because nothing is explicitly exempted, so they're all implicitly included. So it, it could very easily, the regulations could very easily include regulations such that impose overburdensome restrictions on farmers going to market, for example. So it would affect... But surely it's not farmers. within the, the scope of the, of the legislation or the intent of lawmakers to disrupt the gardens or lemonade stands, that kind of thing. Well, I think the intent of the, of the legislation is to give much broader authority to the FDA. And then when you look at the language in the bill, when it gives the authority to the FDA to act on reason to believe, you know, that's, that's giving a lot of power, a lot of control to one person. So an example of that is there's a, a thriving and booming fresh milk movement, people who want fresh milk direct from local farmers they know and trust. Well, the FDA, CDC, and other organizations have clearly said they don't think anybody should drink fresh milk. So if you go by that, then what you have is, a, is an authority. They, they would have reason to believe that fresh milk might make somebody sick. And so on that basis, they could just shut down every fresh milk farmer, anybody who's supplying fresh milk to a consumer, because they have that reason to believe. So even if, even if the intent is not explicitly stated as control over all farms. That is what is this legislation. And, and they can use that to impose their worldview on everyone. It's like writing a blank check to the FDA and saying, OK, now you come up with the regulations. Well, once the bill is passed, they can come up with whatever regulations they want. And again, for them to say, you know, we're going to have regulations specifically for smaller producers, they don't yet have the regulations. So how do we know what they're going to come up with? How do we know if it's actually going to, to benefit small producers or not? We don't know. It's just it's this big unknown, and it's this big blank check to the FDA who's already been stepping on small farms a lot.